is coming to a close, unfortunately, here in New York. But just because you're headed inside doesn't mean creativity needs to come to a screeching halt. We're checking out one spot you won't want to miss today. So the temperatures are going down and people are headed inside, but they want a creative edge. And you should check out Lomano Pottery. It's great to see you, Peggy. Thank you. I'm happy that you're here. Yeah, me too. So tell me a little bit about your mission here. Well, we're the largest privately owned pottery in New York City. And our goal is to create an environment, an artistic environment, where anybody who wants to work with clay, with clay can. Even if you haven't touched a piece of clay since elementary or high school, have no fear. Students of all levels can take classes at the full service ceramic studio. Whether they're being instructed on hand building or using the potter's wheel, students can expect to produce one of a kind handmade items. So if they're learning the wheel, they learn how to get the clay into a uniform uh, consistency. And then they put it on the wheel and they learn how to throw it. Throwing it is an odd term, actually, you're not throwing clay at all, but you're using the wheel to create these cylindrical forms. So you have a lot of options to choose from when you're working on the wheel, but no matter what you're making, it's going to be wheelie fun. <laughs> <laughs> It started because a friend of mine was really interested in taking a pottery class and she didn't want to do it on her own and I said sure I'll take it with you. Next thing I knew I was totally hooked and um, I've sort of been here ever since. I'm here every day for a little bit of time. I try to be. My office is only about 10 blocks away. This for me is a little escape from that. Every day I come in maybe 45 minutes, you know, like a lunch hour. Here in the Big Apple, trends change as quickly as the season, but pottery stands the test of time. The clay working process dates back to around 25,000 BC, and the potter's wheel was invented around 5,000 BC. For New Yorkers, getting their hands dirty proves to be just as stimulating as it was thousands of years ago. The process is so good for a New Yorker because when you're making pottery, you have to be in the moment. You have to stay focused because if you, your mind wanders, your pot wanders. I mean, I just love it. It's a very deep medium, meaning that there's a lot to learn. Like even when you think you've mastered something, there's always something else to do. And just like the people making the pottery, every piece and how they make it is different. I'm working on a new shape. I tend to make shapes that go like that, and I want to make shapes that go like that. I think I want to do some mugs. I've been working on this set, and I haven't managed to get it all right yet, so I just keep doing them over and over and over until eventually I'll have six. I just really kind of start off with um, a slab of clay and, and my little scalpel thing and start moving with it, and then I never know what it'll come out like. Once a piece of pottery has finished being sculpted doesn't mean it's done. In fact, it's still got a ways to go. I meet with co-owner Julie to get a look at the final steps. So I'm going to show you, this is a kiln that has been loaded with what's called greenware, pottery that's waiting to be fired the first time. So right here we have all the pottery that's been fired the first time. It's been bisque fired. Bisque fired. Not to be confused with the soup, the bisque that I love. Um, it's been heated up to a temperature of 1,800 degrees. Wow. Um, it comes out and students collect it to glaze. When glaze goes on like this, it does not, it's not the color necessarily that it'll come out. So this will be a, a very deep reddish speckled color, kind of like a reddish brown, even though it looks pink right here. Once it's glazed, the piece is put into the kiln for a second time, and then it's complete. This is the final product and we have a little bit of variety here. Now what happens if your piece, I hate to ask this, but it doesn't come out looking the way you want or you didn't follow directions? Where does it go? Um, if you don't follow the directions, you get your piece goes to the glaze hospital. Some very common mistake is to add the glaze oops, and um, put it all the way to the bottom. 
you're bringing home a new cereal bowl or a piece of decor, the ancient art of pottery is still relevant in today's modern society. The combination of creativity, focus, and fun makes it an activity you won't want to miss this fall and winter. Reporting from New York, I'm...